here with the one and only, the greatest, John Reynolds on the banjo and guitar and uh, national pluck drum. That's not what you called it, though. I call it poop on a stick. That's what you called it. All right, hang on. I'm going to fix this volume for you guys, so that's how we're going to do this. Okay. And just act like this isn't happening. Yeah. I, I don't see any of it. All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah. anyway, so you are from here. I uh, am here. I am on my dad's side, four generations Southern California. Wow, okay. And you specifically said Pasadena, right? Pasadena. Uh, but I have moved, I've lived in Laguna, I've lived in Long Beach, went to Long Beach State. Oh, all right. And when uh, did you start playing these? 1964. Oh, yeah. You, I didn't ask for a date. That, that puts you... Oh. But that's okay. 64. And... and uh, what made you want to do this? Uh, five string was real popular back then, and I told my dad I wanted to play a banjo, and within a half hour, he had driven me down to the music store in Pasadena, Barry and Grassmuck it was called, and I got a banjo and lessons Wow! from a guy named David Lindley, who was kind of famous in the rock and roll scene. So you started on five string, but you, you don't yeah. play five string? Anymore. I don't play it now. I could probably get, I could probably do some claw hammer. <laughs> Frailing. So, uh, what got you, you wanted to play music for a living, or you just like playing music? I like playing music because prior to getting the banjo, when I was a child, in the 50s, my grandfather and dad would put on Dixieland LPs and play the bones to them. Oh. They both played really good bones. I, I have all of their bones. You, you don't see that much anymore. No, bone it's players. from minstrel, I mean, minstrel bones time. Yeah. yeah, bones predates drums, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. Wow. Rhythm. Um, so when did you start? And you, you were all, you're also an artist. Uh, uh, yeah. Painting and drawing and sketching yes. and all that stuff. Was that concurrent or did one take over from the other? Or I've always kind of dabbled in both of them. Okay. And I, I actually got a job for six years doing backgrounds for animation. For uh, Hannah Rivera? Klasky no. Chupo. Uh, who did Duckman and Stress oh, okay, okay. and Wild Thornberries and and uh, Rugrats. And when was that? That was uh, ninety six to O two. Wow. Okay. So uh, and you were still playing through that. But I was playing through that. Okay. I was still playing music. Was there time for that? I mean, that's some pretty. Uh, the 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 animation thing was grueling. Um, uh, you know, getting. It's funny when I started working there. I we had to do five backgrounds a week and at the end because they were trying to squeeze stuff and they were going to actually just loop everything they were going to let everybody go we were doing like 20 a week uh -oh. so they piled so it up so it got very stressful oh, wow. yeah yeah and then you forget to uh i got by i wasn't very yeah you know, it was it was a strain but now you do uh, I do paintings. I do paintings at home for my own fun, yeah. and uh, you sell some. You have a website. I do. I but do. Plug, plug that. Yeah, plug that. I'm John Reynolds artist. You can go on there and John Reynolds artist stuck, uh, something. You know, I should. Oh, I'm a terrible businessman. Yeah, 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 but you can find me. Put his name down. You'll, you'll find it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I met John at Disneyland. Yeah. Um, you played there from. Early 70s, right? Or mid 70s? I, well, I started at Disneyland when I was going to Long Beach State. Okay. Dan Barrett called me and said, Hey, there's an audition. You want to get down there? And I was just started at Long Beach State. I came down from Monterey Peninsula College. Mm -hmm. And I auditioned and got the gig. And I was there from 74 to 79. Wow. And then out. They had a bunch of old guys. I was the young guy. I was working a bunch of guys like that. Yeah, yeah, like you now. Like me now. Uh, yeah. And you have had some really cool groups that you played with. Well, when some was at Disneyland, the, the 1928. Oh, the class of 28. The class of 28. That was a show. That was a show. At, in the horseshoe at night. And that, and that was a lot of fun. That was. That was you and Wes Westy, uh, Banu Gibson, Terry Robinson. Those are the girls. Sonny Elmer was our leader. Uh -huh. Funny man who played trombone with his foot, foot nose. Jerry Holton, who's now passed away, he played clarinet and banjo. Oh, I didn't know Jerry played clarinet, okay. Yeah, and then... Wasn't uh, Reitmeyer involved in that or no? No. Okay, sorry. Reitmeyer came along after... Uh, uh, I was in Mood Indigo, after Disneyland, 
But the, the 1920, the class of 20, you can class find Class of 27. That. Seven, sorry. Yeah. You can find that on uh, YouTube. Yes, yeah. If you search around for it, it is hilarious. You should, you should look for that. Yeah. Uh, and then you went... Um, then we, then we, we were let go in 79. Okay. And uh, then I worked with a group called Mood Indigo, uh, which we did very well. And that group f uh, fell apart. And then I was with a group called the Palm Springs Yacht Club. Now that one I, I've heard of. And then you can, on YouTube, you can find, we're doing a song called Hot Jazz Pie on the Smothers Brothers revival right. show that they did in the uh, late 80s. Yeah, that is yeah. definitely worth looking at. It, it's, you that was never a good see that ever. Tight ever. harmonies, outfits. Yeah. We were sharp. It was great. Didn't go anywhere. Oh, no, that's not true. We went, we, we went around the world. Oh, see. We were the dandies at the Bohemian Grove. See? Yeah. We, we went places. Up. We went places. Saw important people. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> you just... <laughs> then I got, got into animation. Yeah. And then uh, that, that went away, too. Right. Well, everything Then I came back to Disneyland. Yeah, you played with us. And I long. knew you, because way back with Johnny Crawford. Oh, you? that's right. We did Johnny Crawford. Yes. Together. That's right. And... and uh, that was a fun band for, at times. At times. Yeah. yeah at times it was yeah. really fun, and then yeah. other times it wasn't fun at all. Towards, yeah, but but when he got arrangements and everything, it yeah. went very well. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, you you uh, have been freelancing, and then you worked with us a little bit, and then the pandemic yeah. hit. Pandemic hit, and in there I was also working in a warehouse where I mastered the forklift. That's right. He's a forklift operator. Uh, artist, banjo player. Yeah. Guitar. Guitar. Yeah. Here's one. <laughs> the, man, the man can do anything if he's forced to. If I'm forced to. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let me warm your bed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is John Reynolds. It's awesome to play with him, and he is all over YouTube. If you want to check him out, that would be great. Yeah. All right. Thank you.